Hey everyone, and on today's episode of PNCL's Garage, we're going to show you guys how to service your Mark 7 manual transmission. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Al's Garage. So first things first, you're going to need a 10 millimeter Allen. I, use, I love using them on sockets, so make sure you have them on a socket. The most important part of this process is your gear oil. Full synthetic, 75W90, but the most important portion of this is that it has to meet GL, GL5 specifications for European cars. So we're using Mobile One's full synthetic oil for this process. Um, you're gonna need a drain plug, I mean a, a oil dr a catch can. Um, there's another filler neck you're gonna use to help you fill, and then we'll go from so there. So you're gonna need to find your drain plug and on your transmission, it's right here at the bottom. You'll see that right there. And then this is the fill port right here. So using your Allen, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Ah, this stuff reeks so bad. I can't wait to get away from this as fast as I can once it's done. Oh man, made a total mess here. God, it reeks. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let that drain for about five, ten minutes and then come back. So while this is draining and finishing up, let me talk about our sponsors for today's video. Eurotuning. Eurotuning, one of the best places on the internet for shopping for your European car. One thing I love about them, it's simple. Pick your make, pick your model, pick the chassis, AKA the generation, sport wagon, cause that's what we're working on currently, and your engine, TDI. Let's go. Right here, everything under the sun that you need for your Mark 7 Golf Sport Wagon. I love this place. I order everything from these guys and it's just legit. If you guys are like me, and you always want to work on something, head on over to Eurotuning and find something new for your car. Thanks for watching this, and let's get back to work. All right, so um, it's just about done dripping. Um, so next thing we got to do is start putting the drain plug back in. Go in as far in as you can by hand. Make sure you clean it all off before you uh, thread it back in. Don't want any sand or anything on the actual plug itself. Okay. I'm gonna give this a nice little tug really quick. And then we're gonna look up the torque specification for that bad boy. And then we're gonna get ready to unbolt this guy so we can start on filling the transmission. So we have this cool little funnel that I picked up at AutoZone for like six bucks. It's got a little clear hose that goes all the way down and we fed it into the fill hole of the transmission. You'll see right down here. See that? So we're just gonna keep adding fluid until it starts spilling out. Once it spills out, we put the new drain plug in and torque that to spec and we call it done. All right. First quart going in. It should take about two and a half, two and a quarter, two and a half quarts to fill this transmission.
sorry for the noise guys, but we're doing construction at my house right now. So bear with me. Comes the second court. And remember, guys, it does have to be synthetic. You cannot be running just straight gear oil, even though it meets meets the criteria. Because um, there are some oils that are not synthetic that still meet the criteria. Um, it's not recommended, even though you can use it. Make sure it's full synthetic. So one thing I like to do, when I put the, um, the fill tube, I tend to put the fill tube about an inch to almost an inch and a half in the transmission. Uh, this just gives you a better reading. So when you fill it and it starts spewing out, it's not spewing out because it's on the edge, it's spilling out because it's actually full. All right guys, just, just another pointer that I give you guys a heads up on. All right, two parts. Court. Now you're not going to be using the entire court guys, just FYI. Um, you're going to fill it until it starts spilling and then you immediately put the new drain, uh, put the drain plug back in. I mean the fill plug back in. So it should fill about two and a half. And as I'm pouring, I'm watching watching the fill plug get ready for it to start spilling out there it is it's starting to spill out Took a, took all three quarts, um, but that was enough. A little bit less than three quarts actually. It's spilling out a lot now. <laughs> the um, the drain, the hose was far in, so so I'd say about two and three quarters is what filled it. Oh, you guys can see it's already spewing out of there. All right, give this a good tug. I'll give you guys the torque specifications in just a moment. All right, so both fill and drain plugs are 18 foot pounds torque to spec. Call it done. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. But as a reminder, before I say goodbye, you're going to need to drain first, then fill. Put about an inch and a half of this uh, clear tube into the transmission to fill it 
and then pull it out and then put your fill plug as fast as possible you don't want too much fluid draining out of this bad boy um, it should take about two and a half to two and three quarters of fluid to actually fill it properly if you use all three let it drain out slowly and just take your time tightening that bolt down and you should be set all right guys thank you for watching again this episode of pinchiao's garage on how to drain and fill your mark 7 manual transmission peace out everybody and you guys have a wonderful day